Welcome back to Dallas Sports. If you're new here, like, subscribe and share. Also, if you have any comments, just comment down below. One more thing. What's your favorite skill? Okay guys, so what we've got for, for you today, uh, it's just gonna focus on as a nine to snipe, okay? Or to basically run yourself by picking the ball up and attacking what they call the fringes or the guard and bodyguard to keep them engaged. So last time in the previous video, I spoke about, you know, we're gonna make a video about how to snipe, how to pass, where to have the ball when and what to look for. So hopefully this is helpful. So what we've got, okay, we've got three defenders. We've got the first defender here facing that way. We've got the second defender also facing that way. And the third defender also facing that way. Why? They're watching the ball, they're facing the rock. Okay, as soon as the ball is picked up, the third defender, his job normally is to apply pressure on the outside shoulder, okay, of the first receiver. The outside shoulder, so that you were restricting him to make the pass. Okay. The second guy's role, defending off a rock, is to make, this is the key here. He's making it a race between your pass and him trying to apply that pressure. Okay, by making, cutting you off as a nine, this guy here, you need to attack him. The first defender's job, he normally gets told not to move. So you already know you've got one up on him. Okay, they look big. Normally you have to look for, they plant their feet. Some of them that are very smart, more experienced, they will line up like this, okay? On the toes, ready to go. Okay, but if you see this, this normally happens 10 minutes into the game when they start getting tired. As a nine, always look for that feet planted. Feet planted, hands on the knees, look for that, okay? So what we've got then uh, is a rock, okay? Where the ball is presented, and as a nine, your job is to make sure you get the ball out quickly if it's to your playmaker, to a backline player. If they shout for the ball, they normally have a call, quick ball, flash, red. That means they've seen something out wide and as a nine, your job is to get the ball out quickly. Okay, it cancels out every single thing, except that ball needs to go. When do you pick the ball up? When you have forwards running off the nine. Okay, so that you can help create space for them. Because you want them to run into the spaces, not the faces. Right, remember the previous video I spoke about, get your inside foot over the ball or close to the ball to make that pass, okay? A lot of times people don't realize that you've got to steer with your front foot, the inside foot, okay? If the play is really deep, are you gonna have your toes pointing forwards, right? You will find that, yeah, you can, you can, you can actually pass nice and flat having your inside foot facing forwards. What, a, what about if this guy is slightly deeper? Okay, you're not going to have a flat pass then. So what do you need to do? Practice moving your foot. Practice moving your foot as well. You see that? So if the pass is flat, foot nice and easy there, you've got space here like an L to work with. Okay, on a close-up, arriving at the ball, foot, inside foot, close to the ball. But remember, if it's... If it's a flat pass, then it's okay for your foot facing forwards or slightly on an angle. But if the player is starting really deep, then you've got to adjust your front foot as well. You can't have your, front, your inside foot facing forwards and your back foot out there. It's going to be an uncomfortable pass. So always adjust that front foot as well with the angle. Arriving at the ball, different angle. Okay, you've got to be able to adjust your foot as well. So if I'm passing that way, where the white cone is, I'm just going to arrive there this way and I'm going to follow through. Okay, from here to there. But if the white cone is deep, then my inside foot got to change as well. I've got to, I've got to go over the ball. Okay, and change that angle. Hips, shoulders towards the target. 
Okay, big, nice, strong grip. Hands chasing the ball, right off the ground. Right, the next point, guys, is something that someone once told me. If he's the coach or your coach, normally, like to stand behind the rugby post and watch. Let's say my coach is behind the rugby post. I'm playing this way. What they've been said is they don't want to see my number when I'm passing. So I'm like, what, what does that mean? This is what it means. If you arriving in the ruck with your number facing that way, okay, this means you have to look over your shoulder to see where the players are. Can you see that? And that is uncomfortable because now you're going to have to uh, take a few steps to adjust and make that pass. So we arrive at the ball on the side. So what if we're playing around the corner this way, okay? My vision is the ball and the players and the defenders. I can see everything from this angle. If I'm arriving here like this, I can't see anything over there. I have to turn, it's uncomfortable. To speed up the game, arrive on the side already. Put that in place, okay, and then on the go. Okay, so back to the ruck. As a nine, you pick the ball up, you're always a live wire. People are nervous because, oh, you can snipe anytime. You've got to pick your moments, okay? Especially youngsters. They always want to prove something. And sometimes you can spin out of it, you can get your way around it. But the higher you go with the levels and the older you get, the more difficult it becomes to snipe. Learn to pick your moments. So when you do go, you've got a break like your life depends on it. That something comes off it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So what I've marked out, I've marked out a line, a C line for you. To show you this is what you need to do when you break. Okay, key thing is pick your moment. I'm going to have a go now. I'm going to do it slowly so that you can have a look. So foot, foot close to the ball. Ball back to the rib, not the hip, the rib. So that your arm is already ready to make that pass, if you have to. Okay, so now I'm running this angle. These guys, where are they looking? That's right, they're looking at the ball. Because the ball is the threat. So show them the ball. Don't run here. Show them the ball. Keep them focused here. So that that gives time for your forwards or your players to pick a good line. Why? Because they are looking at the ball and not the player. Once I see, okay, they're looking at me, then I'm starting to go in attacking forwards. Okay, why do I want to go on the outside shoulder of this defender? I want to take his outside shoulder, take him out of the game. The idea for that is to keep this guy, okay, to cut his roll off. His job is to cut off the first receiver, the outside. He flies up. And he wants to make sure that he's putting pressure on that play over there. But here's the nine. If you start running this line, ball here, and you've got runners in support there, what do you think this guy is going to be thinking? The outside man. He's going to come in. Because if he doesn't, boom, straight through that gap. Okay? If he tackles you, you can always then, okay, get the ball through. And you've got people running off you and you, it's a simple pop to get over the gain line. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick the ball up and I'm just going to do it at running pace. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm chasing the forwards, get around or waiting for them to run off me. I'm going to look at their feet. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there. Bang! And straight through. Remember, when do you know now is the right time to, to pass. Sometimes you go with instinct. Pick your moments. This is what you've got to look for. Remember this guy? Okay, if you see flat footed and he's going up. It's him you're trying to get interested, okay? So, when you're running here and you see his hips is turned towards the ball, that's all you do. Because the support runner 
We'll be running this line into that space. Okay. What not to do? What not to do? Don't doubt, okay? Because once you start doubting, that doubt spreads where? Amongst your own players. Okay, if you're not sure what to do, stick to passing. Vital information for you. Don't try to be the show. Just run the show. Okay, just run the show. One more point. When you're too over eager, a lot of guys dummy here and then go. Here's the key. Don't focus here, guys. Focus there, the third person. This is nothing here. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't attack there, but I'm saying leave this guy. Go over there, expose them over there. You take out more players out of the game. So you start running from here to there. Now you've got to deal with this guy and with that guy. Get them out of the game. Attack the outside shoulder. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe and share, ring that bell for notifications. And also, let me know what's your favorite skill. Do you like to pass? Do you like to kick? Do you like to catch? What's your favorite skill? Okay, with that, look after yourself. See you next time.